Hello everyone, so my name's Ben and I am one of the media technicians here at The Box. Um, my responsibility falls predominantly within the still and moving image departments. So I work a lot with digitization and cataloging of our fantastic uh, moving image and still image collections. The object of my affection is this book behind me here, which was a collection of artworks by an artist called Maria Silvia Marianne. Marianne was a significant artist back in the 16th century, as she was uh, predominantly working as an entomologist, but then also did botanical drawings. The reason that I think that she's uh, an incredibly powerful person, and the reason that this book is the object of my affection, is back in the 16th century, she took the decision to travel with her oldest daughter to uh, Latin America to document the life cycle of caterpillars and butterflies. While she was over there, she discovered hundreds of new species of insects and uh, was a very significant uh, scientist and artist of her time. She's now kind of known as the mother of entomology. It documents the entire life cycle of the uh, insect in question and also the uh, plants on which they lived and on which they fed. Marianne was despite her scientific and artistic prowess, was very limited by her gender and the situation that she lived in at the time. One of the other things that is quite significant is when she returned with um, the works behind me, um, studies of Surinim, she, uh, scholars were using her works and discussing them behind closed doors, but she was never invited to those discussions and she never was given the opportunity to defend the criticisms. This book is part of the Box's Cotonian collection. Now the Cotonian collection is an insignificant part of uh, Plymouth's history as it's actually written into Parliament that this collection should be uh, made publicly available to every citizen of the city at all time. The Cotonian collection houses a wide variety of prints and studies from different artists and is an incredibly vast uh, collection. We're very lucky to have Marianne's works here as uh, they are incredibly sought after in this day and age. Uh, one of the other people